This V-Core is unlike any other you've seen before and you will never again see another one quite like it. You can be the lucky one taking it home. Welcome to the very first episode of RetRig TV, the channel where we'll be sharing all things RetRig. We'll have product announcements, Q&As, interviews, giveaways, you name it. Today, we're gonna have not just one, but two massive giveaways, so make sure to stick around until the end. Here we are at the freshly built Red Rig Studio. Did we hire someone to build it for us? Of course not. In the old Red Rig way, we've built it all ourselves using T-slot extrusion. Here in Red Rig, we build everything out of T-slot extrusions, and this studio is no exception. It was all built using our catalog components, and the beautiful sign you see right behind me was all 3D printed on our print farm. So it was a completely in-source project. Here on the shelves, we have some projects that our staff did in the summer. It was a really cool initiative. If you'd like to know a little bit more about it, there's a link in the description below. The studio is still a bit bare, admittedly, and we'd like to make it look cooler. If you have any suggestion for us, just let us know. Let's now cover a couple of recent additions to our catalog. Our CNC users are going to be really pleased to learn about the Red Rig router. This is a router with similar specification to the OpenBuilds Router 11, but being offered at almost a third of the cost. Some of you running on a more tight budget are really going to appreciate this. Next, we've updated our flex plates for our 3D printers. Uh, this is a great opportunity to show you the size difference between our smallest and largest V-Core size. So right here we have one of the old flex plates on size 200 and here the size 500. You can see how massive is that difference. Uh, people often fail to appreciate how massive a 500 bed looks like. Uh, now you have a human to scale to see how big it is. Be careful when buying this machine because it's often the case that it doesn't pass through doorways. So what's the difference between the old and new flex plate? Well, first of all, the color. It used to be gold and now it's this beautiful uh, black finish. Uh, and before, we used to have only one side coated for printing. So you could only print on one side, while on this new flex plate, both sides are coated and ready to use. So if one side wears out, you're basically buying two flex plates in just one. And now for the first giveaway of this episode, we are really proud of the unofficial Red Rig community on Discord. They are about to reach the huge milestone of 10,000 members. It seems like it was yesterday that Pavel created this community with just a couple of Red Rig early adopters. They were mainly discussing EVA at the time, and now it has grown in size to become this vibrant community of users supporting each other, sharing things, inspiring each other with builds, mods, upgrades. It has been an awesome journey and now they are about to celebrate the 10,000 member milestone with a huge giveaway involving tons and tons of partners and we are going to do our part by offering a V-Core 3 standard kit, full machine, size 200, if you don't want to miss out on the opportunity, just make sure to join the community before they reach the milestone. A few days ago, we made a post on Instagram asking you to ask us what you always wanted to know about Rhetoric. Let's go through some of those questions right now. Will we keep everything open source? For sure, Retrig is an open source company, we've always been, we've built a lot on top of the open source movement, we feel our obligation is to contribute to this movement and we do plan to continue to be fully open source for the foreseeable future. What is the next printer or innovation? Well, we're definitely not going to drop a bomb here on the first episode, but I can tell you for sure that we've been working very hard behind the scenes and there's some really new and cool stuff coming out this year, so stay tuned. Have we ever considered non-cubic build volumes? Sure, we use them on our print farm. We don't really need all of the height, so we customize the height of our printers. It's something that we've done for customers several times. If you're interested, just let us know, drop us an email and we can help you out with that. You just need to make sure that the build volume you choose is smaller than our largest one. What's going on with the EDEX printer? We definitely didn't give up on it. We actually expect to have news very soon. We've been mostly waiting for the software to catch up with the hardware and hope to be there very, very soon. 
show us more about the CNC's. This is definitely something that we've been asked a lot. People want to see the Stronghold machines operating. We definitely need to make some dedicated videos to the Stronghold machines. For now, here's a little clip of our Stronghold Pro on our workshop. When are the CNC mills coming out? It's true, we have a couple of product categories teasing that we're working on CNC mills. I am very pleased to share that the development process is almost finished and we are very soon starting the beta round. If you'd like to be a beta tester, there's a form so you can apply. And even more exciting news on this episode, we just started the winter sale on the Vicor, 10% off on the standard kits and up to 30% on mechanical kits. Make sure to grab yours as soon as you can because this is limited to available stock. And now for the main event and the second giveaway of this episode. This is the biggest giveaway we've ever done. Back in November we went to Fornext in Frankfurt and we took a really special machine with us. It's a V-Core prototype which integrates a lot of new ideas we've been playing with. This is the machine standing right behind me that is pre-built and ready to ship. We are going to choose the lucky winner from our followers, so to maximize your chances of winning, make sure to follow us everywhere, on Instagram, on Facebook, join the community, join our newsletter, and most importantly, make sure to subscribe here on YouTube and hit that notification bell so you know once we announce the winners. That's it for today. Rhetoric TV will be back on February 23rd at 5 p.m. London Lisbon time. Make sure to check back because we're going to be announcing the winner of this awesome giveaway. Until next time, please let us know what you'd like the next episode to be about. My name is Sonat, I'm your host and I'll see you soon.